I think we were right to keep trying to push now for 100 intel to make contact with this third haven. I would have liked to have had it done already, but we haven't gotten a lot of intel rewards from these missions. I'm doing a haven in West Asia. Okay, good. There's another recruit there. Uh, do we have enough technicals yet? I've got one, one other squatty technical. Let's chuck him in there. I mean, we don't have any, any aliens infiltrating, but that's going to help with the recruitment efforts. Setting course for Sector 1, the Arctic. Oh, I can't do this now. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding uh, the first. What is this giving us, a scientist? I was expecting to. Oh, geez, like, I need these troops to help with the supply convoy. Uh, I think we have to abort this mission one two three four five six because the supply convoy has six days we're gonna have to boost that as well with intel if i mean to do this ah, but this fucking sucks because now even if i scan at the reaper hq i can maybe get to 60 intel and then that can cover the intel requirements for uh extract vrp which is the second mission on the liberation and I could spend in another 30 on the supply raid launch. This this feels like an absolutely crucial, crucial moment. To spend the intel or not. New orders, Commander. I mean, we don't have data pads, so we're nowhere near making contact with a third third country. I think, let's say, fuck it, let's pull the trigger, let's abort Romeo, use those troops to help with the supply convoy, intel boost both of these missions. Sky Ranger deployed. Because I think stopping the reinforcements will be damn good. Got him. Heading home. And getting the second mission in the area liberation is also super important. Most likely we will pretty soon then have to leave this area because it's going to get too hot. And we can move over to the other country that we've liberated. Uh, sorry, not liberated, made contact with. Take as many troops as we can here. Yeah, this is going to be quite hard. I would imagine this would be baseline, very light, so quite a lot. Uh, can we get a seventh trooper in? I doubt it. No. It's very close though. If we had a few suppressors, we might be able to. But I don't think that's the case. Uh, hmm. I could strip out a few. Hmm. Two assaults, technical shinobi. Let's leave the specialist behind. I hate to do. I mean, maybe if I left a few of these items out, we could potentially have gotten to 100% infiltration, but we'd have to leave out like four or five. Man, a few suppressors would have made all the difference. Like I said, th th this, this Twitch campaign is going so much harder than my offline campaign. But it feels like a lot of it has just come down to which missions you get in the first two months. In my offline campaign, after the first two months, I already had four engineers and three scientists. I just got lucky and keep getting those grab a scientist, grab a engineer missions. And also, if you don't pick up data pads in the first few months, you're going to struggle to make contact. Uh, can we build anything? No. My liege. Griff, Tonight, will you come with access up, my man. 16 months. You legend. 16 months. Thanks, Griff. So I'm sure you're feeling shit and you probably can't play, but like I said, e even if you just uh, give buys for the full eight rounds, that's fine. At least it'll mean that we can go ahead and we can start soon. Sorry to hear you struggling, but I mean, good lord, man. Facial, facial surgery is no joke. 
<clears throat> yeah, on the technical, let's leave behind the med kit. Six hit points. Honestly, I can even justify giving him nothing. I really want to see if I can squeeze out that seventh person. We just need to get to... Oh, no. 101%. Hundred percent. Salt trooper, five hit points. You can do without the pistol. Five days, twenty hours. Mission expiration is five twenty-two. So that gives us an hour to fly to the location and still do the mission. This is cutting it razor, razor sharp. The only other reason that would be worth infiltrating past. 100% which would be to get it to 125% in which case it would turn that baseline light into baseline very light but let's take a look at how we can play around with the setups and see if we can't get to very light because I'd, I'd rather have <clears throat> six troopers against seven to nine than seven troopers against ten to seven so expected activity boosted is very light still very light extremely light if we send I see three, four, five troopers. Karen, all right, mate. Why don't we leave one of the assaults behind? We leave Kazathal behind. And we take Bantha. Then it's very light. It's five troopers against seven to nine. Well, if I don't spend the intel, then it's five troopers against 10 to 12, which is probably a bit much. This is probably our best bet. Okay, yeah, yes, yes, okay. With boost, I guess I know what, what can we give these guys back so that we are still have extremely light. Technical, smoke grenade, flashbang. Oh, damn it. Always right click one time too many. Drift the long wars is really hard. It's going really, really hard. But I feel like that's like I've done a bunch of missions with the gun that have gone okay. But there, there's so much variance in the early game. So much of it is kind of down to just a bit of a crapshoot, frankly. Yeah, very light, so. How do I get 8% away here? Because one whole trooper is a fuckload. Maybe... I'm taking away eight of these. Or, oh, hang on, with a technical, even SMG, that takes it down to 118. That's not a whole lot. The SMG is supposed to lower the, the impact. 117. What? Oh. oh yeah, that's 1% difference. Do we just fight 10 to 12 of them with six troops? It's like two to one. Two aliens for every one of us. I think we, we, we are better off leaving one of the assaults behind and going in extremely light. Technical plus Grenadier. They kind of do the same thing. Leave the Grenadier behind. Take the Specialist. And we give the laser rifle to the specialist. Oh, Rahim is the specialist. That's <laughs> that's interesting. Typically, Rahim Hunter is a ranger in my missions, in, in my in my campaigns. Now I'm just procrastinating because I'm afraid of doing this mission. Okay, we're gonna raid our advent train. Baseline is very light, but we are going to boost and infiltrate all the way up to extremely light. We are sending a corporal, a two lance corporals and two squaddies. The main thing is we have an assault with lightning reflexes, so we can remove overwatch, move forward with blade, blade master, blow up one bit of cover and then direct fire with the gunner and the specialist. The gunner's got 71 aim. I don't suppose there's any other direct fire that's more than 71. everyone's tired 
Operation Bonesong, Delta Group, X-Man, Boom Boom, Widowmaker, Fixer, Bantha. Good luck, lads. And now by deciding to infiltrate on this mission and the, the exfiltrate the scientist mission, we're going to go down to like zero intel. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Now the Extract VIP, he's the, he gets a scientist. So we'll be up to four scientists and only two engineers. Hmm. Setting course for the Arctic. Oh no, wait, I need to be scanning at the Reaper HQ. Setting course for the Arctic. This feels territory. a bit restarty, if I'm honest. <laughs> the outcome of this yeah, stun lancer autopsy, very nice. So we can build improved swords, but of course they're too expensive. Spod experimentals, only six days, do it. It seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification than the Spending the money for the arc priority. blades. Hey, we need a third engineer. But it's only one alloy, one Illyrium, and 20 supplies. As soon as we get a third engineer, we need to build two of these arc blades. That'll up our the shinobi damage quite a lot. Good, that's taken it down to extremely light. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven man squad against seven to nine. I'm very concerned. I'm very, very concerned for where we are in this campaign. Hmm. Well, if we have to restart, it's not the end of the world. We're only seven episodes in, and I could probably chuck in a few extra mods. I think I want to add. Um, stabilize me. The resistance has a VIP operating out of Look this the area. Camera fucking up. Oh, there you go. Advent forces are on alert nearby. The stabilize me allows you to stabilize a down trooper if that trooper is the one who's downed is carrying a med kit. Quite useful. Menace one five target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. And hopefully by the weekend I'll have my new PC and running. I collected it today. So, your position isn't concealed for the so I'm just busy getting all of the drivers and getting everything working. Seems doable. So as soon as that's ready. Do we... We've got 17 turns. They're probably going to run at us quite soon. We don't have that far to go. I think moving forward here is probably not a good idea. Where is my... Reapers are Reaper. In the shadows. Yes. In Thank the you, Volk. I'm aware. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. This is an extremely well-equipped mechanized crew. Thank goodness we have the armor-piercing rounds. Vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. I stand here. This might, even, re might even reveal the mech. Yeah. Let's take up Overwatch oh, positions here and expect that mech to go loud on this next turn. I'm going to put... Croc Hunter, yeah. Whatever you say. Are you actually playing Phoenix Point? It's so funny, like, I'm, I'm busy watching um, Retcon Raider, busy with his playthrough. And, like, I keep waiting for the game to get exciting and good and compelling. It's, it's just kind of meh. I really want to see some of the late game combat, because so far, all of the missions he's done, I mean, they've been easy missions, but the enemy aliens seem really stupid, and they kind of just seem to just stand out in the open. And then just get gunned down. Like he hasn't been under any sort of threat at all in his playthrough. I'm on it. But it's, it's early days. We shouldn't be judging just yet. I mean, I remember XCOM 2 wasn't perfect when it launched either. It needed a bunch of mods and DLC to, to get it into the sexy state that it's in now. Okay, let's kick this off with a Claymore, but... It's going to take another turn. I kind of wish I hadn't pre-ordered, if I'm honest. But, uh, hey. Can I really not see that in mech? He's right here. I think what we'll do is we will open up on the next turn with one of the snipers. 
He has the play. Either one of my snipers can just get eyes on. Fuck, now we've taken too many turns now. This is no bueno. I could just lob a rocket in there because I know where they are. Moving to position. Okay, that's how we're going to open up on the next turn. Unless I can get, get the claymore onto that mech. Oh, damn, this is bad. I've taken two turns and I haven't even gone loud yet. Heading out. If we're lucky, this pod that's right in front of us will patrol into us. Point seven two scatter. That's most likely going to hit the mech, but I can't be sure. Oh, that was good. All right, Fire kick it off with the bang, Stobby. Trooper killed, rocketeer killed, some civilians killed, but that's their own fault for living in a war zone. And so that that dude in the cover, we're probably gonna have to shinobi. FPS is a bit low tonight. Last time we played, we were running at 49 F FPS. Oh, there it goes up to 40. He's a de bestin. Wait, we don't have a shinobi in this mission, do we? A ranger with walk fire should be able to finish him off. What we're going to try to do here is to get this dude killed without having to burn, run, and gun. On your order. A 30 and 39 turned it into a 49. You, Irvin. Make up for your appalling mission last time. Well done. Did you see that one? What a shot. Wasn't it a beauty? On the move. Well done, mate. How are we, gonna, we are going to probably fight across this bridge, get the static fighters into these high bits of cover, get the sharpshooters. Actually, not on the roof. I'm going to check my sharpshooters here and hopefully we can get a few angles. Oh, piss. We Commander, we oh, those were some of the extra damage I, I indicators we saw. Okay. This is bad, but it's also not that bad because we've already killed four. And now if I can just take care of these two, then we've killed five, six out of the nine that we would reasonably expect on the map. See, the problem is here we've got an unmarked trooper who's going to shoot at my exposed reaper. A clumsy, clumsy fight. Get at least got a nice cheeky flank. Mm, nailed him. Yeah, so now the question is, where can we move to move to, to get eyes on that Flammenwerfer? And hopefully we can at least suppress him. I guess this might not be so bad. But I wouldn't be surprised if suppression doesn't work. Very often suppression just flat out fails to work. But I think actually in the way he's suppressing now, it probably won't work because... This flame guy can move one square to his right, which puts him into a square that the suppressing unit can't see. So I suspect the suppression won't work, but even if he moves without taking suppression, the aim malice from suppression should still be active. Yep, see? Right, so my Reaper just needs to put his own flames out. I will wait in cover. And then we see who can take care of these nerds. Sharpshooters don't have any shots, but that's not surprising. I'm on it. Can I teamwork on the sharpshooters? 
I think my best bet is to get my ranger into position. I need to do two points of damage. So a walk fire should do for him. But he's gone and squirreled himself away. Yeah, this looks like I'm going to have to use run and gun. Pity. Just see if we maybe can't... Ah, oh, damn. Just out of range. One square out of range. I'm going. I mean, Paul Fitzgerald can suppress the game, but it doesn't do anything. I'd much rather have him overwatch and try to pick up some of these snakes as they approach here. Overwatch. Shop, she just sprint to the roof and hopefully Fire, get some Fire. shots on the next two, not turn or two. You know, Griff, talking about Phoenix Point, I really hope they do something about the music. Like, I know it's supposed to be um, tense and quite moody, but I just find it... It's, it's, okay, boring is too strong a word, but... Like, the ready-up screen in all of the XCOM games is so hype-inducing, and it's like, it's fucking go! Well but then in Phoenix Point, it's just quiet, quiet, pulsing type of music. It doesn't inspire that same, let's go, boys. <laughs> But again, it's, it's too early to judge. I should just, until I've played the game for 20 hours, I don't want to even judge. Okay, these little snakes going into the pit area here is actually pretty damn good for us. Ow, 25%, straight through high cover. He's not still burning, is he? Okay, that's just a visual bug. Let's quickly save and reload. It's the crash save. The doubly unlucky that, that that snake moved into a square that he didn't get overwatched. But hey, 25% is actually pretty damn high. Here we go, 49, make that 59. That's worth a try. But first, I need to make sure that I can at least flashbang that sectoid. But I need eyes on to be able to do that. As you order, Commander. Now we're going to have to kill that. Super duper noob, super duper noob. Oh look, there's a snake right down there. Oof, I'm gonna take that shot. Moving to position. Target pocket secured. Aha! Job shooters. Get him! See, I shouldn't have used uh, holo targeting. Move my other lad first. Who knows, maybe a big headshot to kill. So if I get five more points on that sectoid, which I don't think I'll be able to do. Kein problem. This is bad, so most of my troopers are gonna have to direct fire. Ooh, that's only half cover, but that does give me a shot on the sectoid. Uh, what I could do is... I've got smoke, okay. Moving to position. So then... Okay, so... No way, that won't be necessary if Gunner 
They're able to kill the sectoid. Now these two are grouped together, so it's likely that they will get poisoned, but then Paul for Shield won't actually get poisoned. 69. Sexiest number, well done. Okay, we still got a snack problem though. Forty-six percent worth trying. Nope. Not good. Maybe I can get the smoke indoors as well. No. Smoke out. Got two unstunned, unwounded snakes. That's dangerous. If only my other shopshooter hadn't missed his shot. So, yep, the one coils, and then the other one should shoot at the coil target. Or come forward and spit. Okay, super duper, we should be able to treat with the med kit. It's actually not that easy. He needs to move out of the poison first and then get med kit treated. First things first here, though. If you can land a barrel shot or both barrel, two seven, you know, take both. It's two separate shots, so it's two fifty seven percent chances. And both hit. Good. So is gemacht. Now using this med kit doesn't help. How can you not see from there? Seriously? Is that still in the poison cloud? That's not in the poison cloud. Uh, then if I move or kink Fitzgerald forward cure the poison and then it lets my assault trooper take a shot there You'll be fine. means Paul Fitzgerald doesn't get to shoot but at least we're stopping the poison and that 57% shotgun shot should be high 70s or 80s now 80% only 42% crit chance AP rounds laser sight Crucial miss. Okay, we're gonna have to blow this motherfucker up. Now we wait. Oh, I actually should be more careful. I might not be able to see that. Okay, I can. Good. Right, so I just need four more points of damage on that snack. And hopefully Stubby to the rescue. So where can Stubby see this damn thing? Nowhere. Oh, oh there we go. Heading out. Nice. Target eliminated. Okay, boys, grab the corpses. Let's get the fuck out of here. We can expect reinforcements any second. Where did that mech go again? He was in this Trump building. Mix. So the two sharpshooters are not very good at providing covering fire as we are exfiltrating, so they can grab corpses. Everybody else can provide cover. Whatever you say. We're probably going to have to deal with, I'd imagine, two sets of reinforcements. Right in the middle. On your order. All right, Ruffle. Let's go. Ah, uh, maybe. Yes. Grab no that loot. Damn, so we took two injuries. That's unfortunate. Uh, where is the Flammenwerfer? You know what? Grab that nerd right next to you. Get oh, yeah. Can you get onto the roof easily? You can. Okay, trooper no, corpses no, are super boss. important. Remember, we're going to need 16 of them. For making those improved uh, ablative vests. Sure, I'll bring them in. I can handle that. I'm 
so worried about that uh, troop column reinforcements we're gonna have to do now. Roger that. Roger that. Oh, I'm Australian. Will do. Well, um, this is our fourth scientist, and four scientists by middle of April is not bad. Oh, great, but it's not bad. I'm on it. That's a good question. Does carry unit break cover? Does. Oh, but the same stealth mechanic still works. That's interesting. You could potentially exfiltrate someone while you are stealthed. That's going to be crucial for when it comes to those jailbreak missions. We've got to try to jailbreak uh, an ally out. Gun after yet. Bewegung, bewegung. On it. It's like everyone's getting a corpse. Good. I got the package. So again, I killed ten, Damn. but the mission preview said seven to nine. Uh, what? <laughs> Lol, what? Bug? He just, he just, he just came over all dead <laughs> randomly. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, Steve Urban, you are cursed. Never seen that before. That's a new bug. He wasn't still poisoned. Interesting. I hope that doesn't happen again. I'll just save before Steve Irwin moves. His little corpse that he carried. I am at your service. Gun safe jetzt. That's poor King Fitzgerald. Solid copy. That's Steve Irwin. We'll move him last. Let's go. Already there. Steve Irwin dies again when taking out his corpse. We'll just have to make we'll make him put it down and just leave it behind. Press save. I wonder why did he die? Is it maybe the stairs were reading as being broken and he took fall damage? Sie haben Verstärkung gerufen. Weird. It looks like everyone can make it on this turn or the next turn, so we don't have to take care of any of the reinforcements. As you order, Commander. Run away, boys. Run away bravely. Double time. Los Gates. 
Los geht's. Und ab geht's. On the move. So overall, it's a very successful mission. We got the VIP out and only two wounded. I just, I need to stop suffering wounded on all of these missions. Well, I mean, you say that, but it's not like I'm, uh, you know, intentionally suffering wounded. It just happens, VIP unfortunately. Like in this mission, I really didn't expect that one pod to be right on the roof where we threw that rocket. It was actually a happy accident because I ended up killing one of that second pod I didn't know about and injuring the other. Hello lads, don't mind us. We're just body snatching. This actually reminds me, what I have had happen before is in this situation, reinforcements will stand right on the spot where you need to get out and you're trapped. Advent, thank you, we're such ball bags. Good job, lads. Let's get out of here. Evakuierung bestätigt. Evakuierung. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Uh, let's save the body snatchers. <laughs> get on in there. Oh, what's that show, folks? Let's say. Invasion of the of te body snatchers. Six troops, six corpses stolen. Well, recovered. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. MVP on that mission, I would say the assault trooper. Up for a month. Bet they're still in the fight. We need that infirmary. Nice advanced repeater, plus two on critical hits. And especially now that we have four scientists, I really want data pads. We'll be able to crack them pretty damn quickly. I think. We actually don't need to boost that infiltration timer. Let's keep grabbing intel. Proving ground? No. What I might do is excavate the power coil and then build a workshop there, which helps excavate these three a lot quicker. We've got to build that damn GTS. I've got to get my uh, officers training. But how are the troops looking? Is everyone tired? Because if I start scanning in our main country there, look at status. Who's available? Ready and available and not tired. Oh, okay. Look for another mission. Setting course for the Arctic. So yeah, where it says Advent Strength 2, the V5 and F4. I'm not sure what the V5 and F4 stand for. Operation. In the Advent Operations. Oh god. See, the thing is, all these liberation missions kind of require you to spend intel. This one we're going to have to boost. Let's see what we can do. Uh, well, it gets us plus one contacts and 28. Okay, definitely. We're doing that and we're boosting. The intel reward will offset the intel we're going to have to spend. And if we get that VIP out, 
then that'll get us contact with a fourth country in Europe, which will then hopefully get us the country bonus. So a six-man squad. And then we need to take out a five-man squad. It needs to be boosted very light. Extremely light. Mark throw, let's go AP rounds, let's go med kit, let's go Remic. Chop shooter, that's perfectly fine. Technical, that's also perfectly fine. Ranger, that's standard. Grenadier. Only three hit points. Oof. Fragile. Flashbang, two boom boom, and a shock and a assault rifle. Let's chuck the repeater on here, though. Ah, so laser sights and repeater. How about a regular autoloader? Good. That's one reload. Eight shots in total should be more than enough. On the Ranger, what do we have? We have a laser sight. Advanced hair trigger. Advanced expanded. That's pretty damn good. Or advanced auto. Two reloads. Giving us nine shots in a row, but this is five. One reload, then another five. Put the auto loader onto the sharpshooter. Put a stock, stock, scope, advanced auto loader. Mm, I'm in the close, but. Okay, this will do. Operation Lazy God. We need to kidnap an Advent official. We're taking out Stobby, Horst, Kezathor, Ryoji, and Fredo. It remind me, who's bonding with who again? Uh, sharpshooters and technicals, grenadiers and gunners, rangers, two specialists, which we don't have, and assaults to shinobis. The bonding, controlling the way that the soldiers bond is quite hard. Inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Boss bomb, nice. Uh, should we go straight for advanced laser? If I do an engineering research, then we can start. And they'll get us an engineer. I'm gonna do engineering research. It doesn't get us an engineer, but it makes us able to be able to do the arc blade. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander? I think building two arc blades is a top priority, so we can always have two of those arc blades out in the field in two separate squads. Let's launch a report, very light. Damn, so with the timing, we just got to 98%. Uh, you squad one, two, three, four. Damn, I'm gonna have to spin the intel then. But it's still only very light. Oh, what? It should have gone all the way to extremely light. Fuck. This is gonna be five of us versus ten to twelve. Yeah, this is scary. If indeed. We got a lead on a disabled advent train that was hit by resistance operatives working in this area. There's still the potential to recover valuable technology here, so we're moving to capture whatever we can. We'll need to secure the area and remove any hostile forces still defending the train if we're going to make this. Please work. tell me no reinforcements, because if already these ten aliens this are going to be more five. than we can handle. The units of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Okay. Let's go. 
Santo. Take our time. Roger that. No rush. Solid copy. Location confirmed. Oh, I'm so worried. Sectoid, that's pretty nasty. Well, one of those sectoids will get sliced and diced. Fuck, that's a big pod. Oh, it's gonna be 12 enemies, isn't it? Understood. Moving out. At least we can be fairly certain that they're not gonna be up here. They're almost always gonna be grouped up on the train. If we can pull this off, this is gonna be huge for us. The resources we'll get from this will be super important. Off. Remember, we already have laser weapons unlocked. We just don't have the supplies to be able to actually build any of them yet. Okay, me move <clears throat> Getting to advanced laser weaponry and getting two laser lancers will also be super, super important because then we've got two laser sniper rifles to do extra damage. Moving to position. Oh fuck, you're kidding me! I knew they were there, but I didn't know that close. Uh, uh, I can't even push into that position. We are so fucked. On the move. This is so bad. We can run and gun here, but that other pod's gonna become active if I try to take a shot like that. Oh, this is so bad. Grenadier, maybe. No, we've only got five troops. Oh. <sighs> Fuck, I can't go forward because this is going to aggro another pod. This means psychic bullshit, panicking, and mind control and shit. So Wickstrom, it's actually more important that you stay out of vision of anyone. I guess that'll be okay. Scan it. Let's do this. Got it covered. Vado in posizione. Uh, this is so bad. Mi tengo pronto. <sighs> now Panther, you just need to break vision so they can't see you. Or just take the shot. I mean, overwatching or suppressing is useless because it's just gonna do psychic shit anyway. Oh, we're so fucked. We are so fucked. Shot wide. Okay, we still got a flashbang on the Shinobi. So as long as the shinobi doesn't get mind controlled. Q shinobi getting mind controlled. Ow. I fired it in. Oh, I'm just out of cover. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Okay, drastic situation calls for drastic measures. Just hit that forklift and make it explode. That sectoid might even die. Five and four. One five. Watch those supply crates. Oh, shut the fuck up, Central, you dickhead. We are fighting for our lives here, mate. Understood. Moving out. That's a nice cheeky flank arena. Come on, max damage or crit. Here we go. That's minimum damage. Finish him with a pistol. I'm just so scared of going even further. I don't want to 
I'd grow another pod. I mean, if I run in here, I can flush her into a, what's probably a relatively safe. I mean, there's a fair, fairly good chance that I go another pod, but I mean, I have to kill this thing now. Have we gotten away with it? They're not another pod. Oh, we just got away with fucking murder, boys. You're lucky that the other pods haven't heard us yet. Now, Eric Wickstrom has to aggro the other part. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Well done, Eric. Well done. I don't think I want to run on gun now. I probably should, and then just make sure he goes down. Because if I don't run on gun, that engineer's probably going to... Flash bang him, and then he won't be able to use Ronald's gun. God, I've made a pig's ear of this mission, and now my gunner, I think, is flanked. Was that a trooper? They're repositioning on us. This looks a little ugly. Yeah, rip my gunner. This is a restart. Restart the campaign. <sighs> Fuck. We've got admin here. Well, to be fair, as soon as we spawned in Asia, I knew it was going to be hard. Oof. Get some flanks here. Hard advantage there. Maybe we can do this if my shinobi just does shinobi things every turn. Sentry there. Can the shotgun I get any cheeky flanks? And there, but then I've got two problems here. Okay, so the follow up is what? But one more movement tile, I could have gotten that flank, and then Shinobi could have got that one. I can still go there and nail him that way. Controlling that would be huge for us. It's worth a try, this is desperation. Nowhere near. I wouldn't normally do that, but we're in such a shitty position. This is almost certainly a restart. We are so fucked. Oh my god. I can't even get a smoke. So I mean, if I. Okay, here's the play smoke ends the turn. I think it's worth it because we're gonna have to leave our assault trooper in a flankerino position. Cover. So I'm deliberately putting my assault trooper into a flank position, but I just every single action I take has to kill an enemy, and this is the best way of doing that. Eight active on the field. This way, we at least get one trooper off the field. Four to six. I would. That would have to crit to one shot that sectoid. Unlikely. Seventy-three. I definitely got that one. And we flush a gunner. That means we're going to be getting shot at least once. We got six hit points. We should be able to survive getting shot in a flank from a trooper. 
I could flashay him, but then there's a gunner taking a shot at a flank, and the gunner does more damage. But now, if my shinobi gets mind controlled, I'm gonna struggle like hell. <sighs> okay, raising a zombie, fine. Twenty-seven, even through high cover and smoke. This will hopefully miss because of the smoke. The stunner has a pretty high base chance, though. needed my assault trooper. I don't have revive protocol on Rahim. Yeah, this is a squad wipe and a restart. So fucking fucked. See, now this forces my shinobi to flashe the sectoid even through through the overwatch. If I don't kill the sector, what does turn? Then we're gonna get punched by that zombie. But that means running into a flank with that dude. Oh god. I'm gonna die! Don't get overwatched. Don't get overwatched! Damn it. Had to do that. Let's call it. It's over. It's over. Woo! You know you did. Uh, I'm gonna have to restart. <sighs> Ugh. Tired of waiting around. I'm on it. I could have sworn before we launched this mission, we were pretty damn certain about the infiltration timer. I remember it throwing. The whole reason we only took the five-man squad was because it said by its calculations we would have had time, but I think it was going in and out of the world map and then the travel time which put it above or below 100%. Well, at least he's not over to stun when he's bleeding out. Thanks for watching. So that's attempt number one at this season, but I think I'm not going to bother uh, making another season or changing the numbering. We'll just keep on. This is episode, I think, 13 or something, or seven or eight. We'll just restart and have that be uh, episode nine. Okay, but I quickly want to exit here and change a, f a few of the mod settings. I just want to add stabilize me. And one of you told me. In the comments that one of the mods is likely to make the game hang. I just wanna who was it? We'll take a look. Okay.